guys. So today I am reviewing Naturepedics Organic Pillows. My family and I have been hard at work testing these babies. I have five different pillows here to show you. Um, I received uh, both of their fillings. They have a PLA filling, which is a new kind of um, polyester fill that is derived from mostly corn and potato. Um, it is organic exchange, OE100 certified, and the KPOC cotton fill is 100% organic, GOTD certified. They're all like no herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, no GMO, no flame retardants, no nothing. So there's like nothing yucky that you're gonna be breathing in from any of their pillows. Like they are, when I was doing my research on organic pillow products and like healthier options, they're like the best. They are the cleanest option out there from what I could find. The um, outside casing is 100% organic cotton and it's a 300 thread count, which means that um, dust mites can't get inside. So that means, in my opinion, that your pillows will last a lot longer because then it really only has to do with um, how you care for them rather than them building up dead dust mites on the inside. That's just gross. Like, that's why I get rid of pillows is because I know I've had them for a long time and they have a bunch of dead dust mites inside of them, so I better throw it away and get a new one. Well, since this does not accumulate dust mites on the inside, that means it's a clean pillow inside and out and all you got to worry about is it just holding up and not tearing apart, you know? So if you treat your pillow well, then it should last a really long time. And they do have a one-year warranty. So I definitely think they are a good investment. Um, and I think you'll be really happy with them. Um, okay, let's start with the PLA filling. I received two of their uh, junior or you can call them toddler pillows. Um, the bottom one is the one that my son has been sleeping on. You can see that it is compressed. It's about two thirds the size of this top one, which is brand new, just washed, just fluffed. Um, so you can get them nice and compressed for your little ones so it fits their little neck um, just how it needs to. And if it ends up being too compressed, you could see that you could wash it and it will fluff up again. So this is the PLA filling. So it is machine washable, machine dryable. When you dry it, you wanna make sure that you take it out every so often during the drying cycle and kind of beat it up a little to really get that fluff back. Um, the toddler pillows measure 14 by 20 inches, which is the perfect size. I also received an adult pillow with the PLA filling. Um, the adult pillow is, I believe this is the standard size, which is 20 by 26. They also offer queen and king. Um, the best way that I would describe their PLA filling is that it just feels like your basic polyester batting pillow. Um, it has, it was a lot thicker when I first got it. This one hasn't been washed yet. So I would assume that when it's washed and fluffed, it will fluff up just like the toddler pillow did. Um, it feels like it's just one singular large piece of fill um, rather than like little cluster fills. So when you lay on it, I would say it has a nice squish to it, but it doesn't compress as much as their other fill. I feel like this one has um, a little extra support, but um, it's soft, but yet it's dense at the same time. Like it has that softness like a polyester fill, but it's supportive. Um, so then I guess as you sleep on it at night, it definitely has a firmer feel to it than when you initially first lay on it because it is compressing and it does um, just like it sustains its size as you sleep on it versus the K-Poc fill which actually here, let me show you this way. That when I press on it, it's just, you know, it's a soft, squishy pillow. Whereas the K-Poc pillow, when you squish that, you can see it has this like foamy, memory foam type of a quality where you can see it like growing back out after I push. 
onto it. Um, so that is how I would describe the K-Pod pillow. It has a combination of um, down and memory foam qualities to it where I believe it feels like on the inside that it's a bunch of little pieces. It's not like one big solid piece like the PLA. So you're getting like this fluff like you would with a down pillow where it compresses a lot. It compresses like twice as much as the PLA. So you're ending up with a flatter pillow, a much flatter pillow than when you started with it. Um, so if you're looking to maintain that head support, then I would go with the PLA. If you're looking for something that's really gonna absorb the weight of your head and sink down more and is more like a down pillow or a um, memory foam pillow, then I would go with the K-Pac pillow. I thought that I would like, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I thought that I would like the PLA better because it's washable and it's firmer, but I actually ended up liking the K-Pac better. I like this that this one's softer and absorbs my head more, but I'm a side sleeper and it's surprisingly, it's just enough to be supportive enough for my neck for side sleeping. Um, I have two different fills here as far as the amount. This is their low fill of the K-Pac. This is their standard fill. So you could see that this is like two thirds the amount, but when you lay on this and it compresses, you're really laying on like an inch of pillow for the low fill. So I would not recommend the low fill for someone who's looking for a nice substantial pillow. This is for someone who wants practically no pillow at all, really thin, maybe for um, belly sleepers or for a child. My son really likes this pillow a lot because it's really big like mommy's pillow, but it's thin enough for his tiny little neck um, so that he's not all when he's trying to sleep on it. So I would recommend the low fill for children or someone that wants to sleep on their belly and wants practically just a really, really thin, minimal amount of pillow. Um, but it's great for kids, absolutely great for kids. This is their standard fill. Their standard standard fill is great. I feel like it's just enough for me as a side sleeper. Um, I really like its squishiness. I actually hate down pillows. I hate them because I feel like there's so much fluff and it's just like tricking you into thinking that your head's going to be supported by all this lovely fluffiness and then your head just sinks down to the bed like there's nothing there. So I like that this is kind of an in-between where you're sinking in it and it's soft like a down pillow, but yet it springs back up. It doesn't all just spread out and disappear. It's still supportive, but yet it's really just cushioning your head. So I really like the K-Pac a lot also. Honestly, I was very happy with both of the fills. I could sleep on either one of them and be comfortable and be happy. Which is a lot to say because usually like picking out pillows is really finicky. Like my husband and I have never been able to really find pillows we were 100% happy with. You know, we would always just kind of like, okay, this is what we bought. We're stuck with it, whatever, you know, let's make it work. And these, I don't feel like I'm just making it work. Like I'm really happy with, with all of them. My son loves them. I love them. My husband loves them. Uh, I think you'll love them too. So hopefully I've included enough information and been descriptive enough that it will help you uh, make your decision with your pillow purchase. If you have any comments or questions, please comment below. I will include links in the description to find out more information on their fills and how they're made and what they're derived from and all that goodness. And um, please subscribe and thanks for watching.